Good evening, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson with you in the First Alert Weather Center. Meteorologist Candace Bowling with me. And Candace has been a very active night of weather. And if everyone is wondering, of course, when is the system going to clear out of here? Yeah, so don't expect it to clear out of here, at least in the next few hours. That's it's right. really going to take until we get into the meat of Sunday before we really start to see at least one of the factors shut down, but it looks like the wind will still be kind of active as we get into Sunday. I believe you're right. In fact, take a look at some of the pictures. And again, this is some of the flooding being sent into our viewers. We've had so many folks commenting and telling us how bad the flooding is starting to get in their uh, particular neighborhoods. And unfortunately, it's just been raining uh, just cats and dogs over the past uh, majority of the day, really, and well into the evening, too. And if a lot of these pictures that you're seeing here were taken when the sun was still up. Candace has been raining ever since. Exactly. And it's been raining hard ever yes. since so we've only been adding to these rain totals that we've been seeing so uh, we've had we've heard reports of abandoned cars in many locations thanks to the flooded highways trees down uh, a lot of different factors that are happening and also, as you can see, we have Hurricane Matthew itself finally being eroded on the southwestern side of the storm as some drier air is filtering in. So there is an end in sight finally, but these strong gusty winds are going to continue right on into early tomorrow morning. That's going to continue to cause some flooding concerns, especially up around Pamlico and even Albemarle Sound. The center of circulation is going to pass very close to Cape Lookout. That's going to be more than enough to channel some pretty strong winds in up here. So we need to monitor this closely until the system finally gets out of here for good as we deeper into the weekend. You can see the wind field around it. Any bands of wind and rain that work on shore will have the potential for flooding effects and also the possibility at least of isolated tornadoes. Drier air will finally begin to arrive as we head later into Sunday. Now I know we had Allie out live earlier this evening. Are we still able to toss over? I'm sorry, what was that Luke? Zora. Oh Zora, okay forgive me. Zora is out live on location. Zora, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, Jerry, I'm in New Bern right now. We're seeing lots and lots of rain, and that's exactly what much of our region does not need. Already some reports of some damages in this area. Rose Street, a power line down National Avenue. A tree fell onto two separate houses. Officials tell me that a pier was already lost at Union Point Park. Now, some good news for you guys is that people are saying, excuse me, people, officials are saying that the water and the river is actually receding. Now, how long that statement will hold true, I don't know because the rain is really coming down out here. The wind, not too bad. It comes in gusts. Every now and then we'll get a, a big gust that comes through and you need to hold on a little bit. But this rain is definitely coming down, definitely what we don't need. Jerry, back to you. Door, it looks like probably the heaviest of the rain probably going to be wrapping up as we head into very early tomorrow morning mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll begin to see the rain effects at least get out of here but the wind effects are going to persist behind the system exactly and you know the saturated grounds won't just instantly yes. dry up so we can still see uh, issues with power outages and trees down thanks to the winds basically staying in place as we get you into Sunday absolutely and of course coming up on WNCT not on your side evening edition tonight at 11 we're going to have the updated wind gust reports we've seen and also rainfall time totals, but here's a model representation of that wind field. And again, you can see the winds more or less wrapping and coming across uh, Pamlico and Albemarle Sound here. So we're going to continue to see at least the possibility of some surge effects. But one good thing about this system is that it did weaken considerably on approach. So we certainly didn't have to deal with a major landfalling hurricane around here. The system is barely teetering on the edge of hurricane and tropical storm status at this hour. But as long as it's there, it will continue to pump heavy rain across the area tonight. Here Here's a look at the regional radar review. You can finally see the center of circulation is now well off to the east of the Cape Fear area, and it will continue to move off to the east, maybe drifting a little north of there. It's going to get close to Cape Lookout, but it does look like the heaviest, certainly the heaviest tornado potential is now starting to slide off to the east. Now, remember, we'll continue to have top of the hour cut ins and bottom of the hour cut ins for the balance of the evening. Of course, we have much more complete updates on WNCT.com, on social media, Facebook and Twitter. So make sure you stay up to speed and stay up to inform with us. Hopefully better days will be heading our way next week, but keep an eye on those river levels because it will be well into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday before many of them crest.